Hey, hey everybody and welcome back to our second weekly check-in. We are going to be checking in for a few expenses, not too many going on this week, so it should be a really quick video. We have our Budget Mom Cash Wallet here. I have it linked down below for file of facts if you're interested in the wallet. So we're just going to pull out this. I already slid it out. Um, so we have that. We have our cash envelopes here. They are also the Budget Moms. These are last year's that I'm just reusing because I didn't just use what we have don't spend it extra if you don't want to and i didn't so i just reprinted them and reused them we have romina rose's no spins we have three left then we don't have any more of those i'll have to create my own we are using sarah marie stickers here for the expenses until i create my own on that we are in our seven by nine erin condren notebook this is linked down below um, so you can go straight to their um, monthly planners that is what i use as a monthly planner these stickers here are my own stickers for the headers up here and the layouts that you'll see in the video but let's go ahead and get started also did link down below um, the utensils i use so the erin condren dual tip markers here i list uh, link the all of the tools down in the description box as well so check that out if you're wanting to see what i use it is down below now. I made sure to go in and get all of that updated and edited. Very good. All right, so first off, we need to figure out our expenses for this week. So we're gonna be checking in from the 11th until the 16th, getting on track this week, on track. So we've only had one transaction at Walmart for $57 on the 11th. So we're gonna go ahead and write that one down. And we only needed a few things to fill in our grocery list for this week a um, few side item things and a few main ingredients that we needed for recipe but we try to see what we had at home and went off of that all right so that is the only one for groceries for gas me and james have both filled up i actually filled up both cars this week so i went by sphinx and did the get up side app and got back I want to say it was like 90 cents off of his and then a dollar 40 something on mine love that app getting some money back on gas when it's going crazy high yes i'm for it so sphinx james and then myself and that is 30 dollars for his car and then 36 for mine it was a little bit lower than his car was when we filled up I filled his up on Tuesday, the 13th. And if you can hear the kids in the background, they're in there watching a movie playing. So, and it's just the older two. The other two are sleeping. And then on the 15th from me, all right. And then personal spending for mine, myself. I went by balance and paid $12 there. So balance 12 and that was also on the 13th all right and then let's see have we used miscellaneous we haven't used miscellaneous yet but we haven't really been going anywhere i've been trying to stay at home so i don't spend any extra money that is the way that we look at saving money um, I did start creating a Amazon wish list for everybody to figure out what we were going to be doing for like Christmas and the upcoming birthdays because we have Alexis's is coming in August and then Bubba's is coming in De oh gosh Bubba's and mine are both in October and then we have James in December as well as Christmas in December so we're starting our wish list figure out what everybody is wanting for this year oh we had just enough for this week so we have three more no spins every other day um and i really wish i had filled up my car the same day here but of course i didn't so the gas prices jumped which is why it's probably even more here because it jumped 20 cents in two days from here to here so that's always fun right anybody else's gas prices going up I know ours are so let's go ahead and check in i said this is going to be a shorter video but i'm sitting here talking all right so let's clear that out so first off we need groceries and we spent 57 so that's our only one so 
for spent for groceries is 57. Last week we ended with 203. So 203 minus 57, we should still have remaining 146 for groceries. Let's see, so we have 1, 20, 45, 46. Yay, that's all correct for groceries. And I have updated this here, so that was, is ready to go. So if we take how much we have left and divide it by the week, so we have left remaining, we have about $73 a week to spend because we were less than what we had last week left each week. So that's awesome. So next up will be gas and we did have the two transactions. So the 30 and 36, which makes it 66 Ooh. for our gas. So spent was 66. Last week we had 173 minus the 66. So we have 107 remaining and that is correct. So we have two weeks, so that gives us about $53 a week. So I did increase this. Um, if you watch my next video, which will be my cash and all stuffing, I said that we are increasing this because the gas prices are not going back down right now. So we wanna make sure we are covered and don't go over budget on our gas. So I am increasing that the last two paychecks for July. So there's that. For personal spending, oh, I want to say it was one transaction of $12. Yep, so $12 was all it was spent. So that means I should have $20 remaining because we had it 32. So let's check personal spending. So we have our 20. All right, hopefully I don't spend it and I can put it in my sinking fund for myself that way I can save up for my next hair appointment probably sometime next year <laughs> so plenty of time to save for it so hopefully I'll keep that 20 if not a small amount to throw in there will be awesome we did not have any other transactions those were the only four transactions this week which is really awesome the goal is staying at home don't get in the car drive anywhere because then you're tempted to buy something so this week we are doing very good on that um, so we haven't spent anything, so we should still have our 45. Let's check 20, 40, and five. Perfect. Love it. All right. So that is it. So let's see. We checked in from the 11th till 16th. All right. So this is our weekly check-in. These are all of our categories. I'm gonna go in and highlight those so we know we have checked in and they are accounted for. We did have um, two transactions in our sinking funds. And when I went to Walmart on, what was it, Sunday? Yeah, Sunday here. I picked up some household things, um, new muffin pans and a flat pan, baking pan, as well as some mini blinds for the kitchen because it never had any and it was blinding me in the morning so i finally caved and went and bought a few of those things and then james needed to get some gas to cut grass oh <sighs> we go through a lot of gas <laughs> but those are the only two transactions this week and he did spend eight dollars on the oil filter last week i couldn't remember how much he said but he did spend eight on that and those are the only transactions we've had so far for sinking funds which is fine we haven't done much other than that. I did add summer down here because we are going to be adding to that because there are still several weeks left of summer for us before school starts back. So super exciting. Lots going on. I really hope that y'all enjoyed my weekly check-in. Let me know how your weeks are going. Are you staying in budget? Did you go over budget already? How's it looking with the two weeks that we still have left? So let me know in the comments and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye <laughs> now.